the government has reduced and rationalized tax rates. Under the new tax scheme, there is now no tax liability for taxpayers with income up to 7 lakh rupees, up from 2.2 lakh rupees in the financial year 2013-14. The threshold for presumptive taxation for retail businesses was increased from 2 crores to 3 crores. Similarly, the threshold for professionals eligible for presumptive taxation was increased from 50 lakh rupees to 75 lakh rupees. Also, corporate tax rate was decreased from 30% to 22% for existing domestic companies and to 15% for certain new manufacturing companies. Honorable Speaker, sir, in the last five years, our focus has been to improve taxpayer services. The age-old jurisdiction-based assessment system was transformed with the introduction of faceless assessment and appeal, thereby imparting greater efficiency, transparency, and accountability. Introduction of updated income tax returns, a new Form 26 AS, and pre-filling of tax returns have made filing of tax returns simpler and easier. Average processing time of returns has been reduced from 93 days in the year 2013-14 to a mere 10 days this year, thereby making refunds faster. Indirect taxation. By unifying the highly fragmented indirect tax regime in India, the GST has reduced the compliance burden on trade and industry. The industry has acknowledged the benefits of GST. According to a recent survey conducted by a leading consulting firm, 94% of industry leaders view the transition to GST as largely positive. According to 80% of the respondents, it has led to supply chain optimization as elimination of tax arbitrage and octroi has resulted in disbanding of check posts at the state and city boundaries. At the same time, tax base of GST more than doubled and the average monthly gross GST collection has almost doubled to 1.66 lakh crores this year. States too have benefited. States SGST revenue, including compensation released to states in the post-GST period of 2017-18 to 